Morning 47. We have a lead on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Hell of a baptism by fire, man. <laughs> You're telling me. I have to say, it's a beautiful piece of work. Wait a minute. Don't you dare mess up this fucking day more than it already is.
So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps point you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. I brought it to my ram or something. The Not team trains bad. with a battering ram to Keep practicing and we'll make a sharpshooter out of you yet. I don't know. Don't I want those bodyguards to get a single that. shot off, so make sure you Nine put them down good. In the home. They do I'm say back. That. Well, anyway, well, well our very own pinching bag. Any broken bones? So does, Wounded uh, pride. Rose still That's all. The Good to hear. Sure. Why? All right. Well, if Head over we to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. Oh, I no more luck. you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position move out weapons released on my command go Did you somehow lose your weapon? Right over there! Stand back, let me do my job. Coolio. There. Rose. Parvati, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready, set, execute. <laughs> Parvati won't know what hit her. Speed and accuracy of coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. Your point man was spectacular. He'd make it. <laughs> Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. So I've started practicing breathing underwater. Okay, let's... Hey, Command, I think I heard something. 
Moving into embed. So, listen, I've been thinking, maybe the dosage is just wrong. Did you check? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I checked the dosage. It was the first thing I did. Again, I also checked that. Listen, I appreciate your interest in my work, but it's a little hard to focus with all these questions. It's not a problem. That's so. Violent kind of people keep up. That's it. It isn't the deal at all. Uh, no, more like I understand. Do you want to know what the secret is? Keep me quiet. Let the subject talk. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Who keeps leaving their weapons behind?
Hmm. It's quite dark. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Good job, recruit. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. If anyone's there... those bloody kids messing around again. Ah! <sighs> 
in all its improvised glory. <laughs> All targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. So you know how Rose keeps his desk. Why am I doing this? Don't we have security to deal with situations like this? Nothing here. Get back to whatever you were doing. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Clan? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. 
Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man, you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Better than anyone.